Thank you for joining Reef Chief Jeff Knight and all our staff in our ongoing mini reef and saltwater aquarium seminars. Our goal is to keep the marine aquarium hobbyists informed and up to date in all aspects of the hobby and to encourage an atmosphere of shared knowledge as we all participate in the pursuit of excellence for our reefs and aquariums. Now please join us as we begin our next seminar dealing with water chemistry and now here's Jeff. We'll go over the nitrogen cycle because I know it's a lot of misunderstanding going on with the nitrogen cycle, how it all really works, how it all relates to the, the whole chemistry of the system. So we're gonna go over that. I was getting low on ink, but I do have some handouts. If you're coupled together, if you're with someone, just take one handout. If we need more, Mike can get a few more handouts. So um, this is just a, just a typical breakdown. Real basic, it's gonna show you what levels rise first, how they convert, and all that. So um, I know you guys need one. Just pass them around. I don't know how many's there. There's a few there, but it's also I've got I've got a couple of different handouts. So if you can share with somebody, or if you're coupled up, do that, please. Until uh, and we can make some more later. And uh, you know I have the, the little workshop folder that's hanging on one of the carts. So if you come in later and you want the whole the whole the whole kit, you can get it. Uh, I'm gonna do that one. And then we're gonna do this one. It's a little more of these. This is gonna go over the. Uh, the three components and phases of the nitrogen cycle. So we're going to go over that. And that's a, this is a two-page thing here. The first, second, and third phases are on, on here. So I've got some stuff highlighted here and there. It's just, uh, it was kind of for me, but you guys are welcome to. Once we're, we're going to go over the nitrogen cycle, then we're going to touch base on um, the major and minor elements of seawater, the home aquarium, where they should be, you know, kind of target levels of what everything kind of needs to be at and how they all relate and how one level brings up another, balances out all of them. So we're gonna go over all that. Um, I'll hand this one out too. This one's gonna be, and this is one of my big things because so many pet stores out there offer fish to cycle your system, which is just a big, it's, it's just a gimmick. Um, so I'm gonna hand this one out. This is how to do it without fish. We're kind of gonna do the read along thing. That way everybody can kind of get a, there's so much information here, I just couldn't just cram it all in and spit it out. So I'm gonna read as well, you know, on my notes and stuff. So. Typical breakdown cycle. We're going to start with that one. You can share with somebody or whatever. Some of you guys know this stuff, but you may not know it in these this fashion, so we're going to go over that. Now on the first page, the three components page, the first one, every system, any system, marine aquaria, you have to have ammonia to start this cycle. Everyone knows, you got to have ammonia. You get ammonia from many different sources, um, but let's just go over real quick. Nitrogen cycle of an aquarium is a chain reaction resulting in the birth of various nitrifying bacteria. Each bacteria that's born consumes the previous bacteria and births a new one. So it, that is ultimately what's going on. The bacteria is eating and, and just reproducing and it's a cycle. So we got that. Um, the three components, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. We got that, and that's one here too. So you've got, this is a pretty pretty long cycle, 30 days. We all have usually done that in less because we've added a lot more uh, ammonia to the system to speed up the process. So you can see, you're gonna get zero test on the first day. You're gonna go in, you're gonna start raising your ammonias. The ammonia is going to convert over, nitrites are going to rise, nitrites are going to convert over, the nitrates are going to, going to rise, and then you're going to get nitrobacter. That's your nitrifying bacteria, nitrobacter, that is ultimately the continuous and perpetual cycle of the tank. So we all know that. All um, Most natural processes are going to convert food into ammonia, and ammonia uh, 
high levels of uh, ammonia are toxic. We all know that. We want to we want to complete a nitrifying bacteria that's in a, in an amount that can convert the nitrate to non toxic the nitrite to non toxic nitrate. Ultimately, converting the nitrate to free nitrogen, releasing it back into the system, completing the nitrogen cycle. So we've got the three components, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. We know how they work. You see which ones come in first. Your ammonia comes in first, your nitrite, and then your nitrate. Then you, have, you, you complete the cycle with the nitrifying bacteria to finish out that process. Um, I'm gonna try not to be boring, guys, but you know, this is just, it's, it's, this is the basic stuff. Everyone needs to, you know, really grasp it. Um, once the ammonia gives birth to the nitrite, nitrite turn gives birth to the third and final nitrifying bacteria, which is a nitro bacteria. It's nitrifying bacteria, so we got that. Um, I want you guys to look at the main source. You can add a lot of different things to your tank to get ammonia. Live rock, live sand. Ultimately, you don't have to put anything in it to get the, the cycle to start. The ammonia will come just, um, it'll, it'll come out of the atmosphere and uh, absorb into the water. Mm. I'm really feeling it. Any questions on um, how the ammonia is introduced into the system? Or how we get the ammonia? Um, glass cleaners also. Glass cleaners. Oh, like like um, in you know, a Windex? Like, should we use it? Oh yeah, I mean you can use it um to start it. I mean you can do a lot of different stuff, even some other things that we won't talk about. You can pee in it. I mean it's fish pee. That's what that's what it is. Ammonia. You're looking for ammonias that are, you know, foods are processed. They're converted to ammonia. All of us, I mean, every, every living organism converts foods to ammonia, including, uh, I mean, every organism. They convert it. So you get the ammonia anywhere. So we all know that ammonia starts a cycle. It, it, the ammonia converts into nitrite. Nitrite converts into nitrate, into nitrifying bacteria. And there's our nitrogen cycle. Now, to keep this going, you want enough surface area for these bacteria to live. And what's that? Live rock. We gotta have the rock. So when there's too much nitrifying bacteria going on, um, here, I got it right here. Like bio balls in a sump and live rock in a tank, it's actually gonna overprocess. You're gonna get uh, just way too much anaerobic bacteria going on and they're actually gonna produce nitrates. So, I mean, if you, if you have a, a system with enough live rock, and obviously that's, that's the only thing that this tank consists of is live rock. There's not even a protein skimmer on it. But it's the circulation around the live rock and all the, all the bacteria living in the surface area of the rock in the substrate to convert all the ammonias and nitrate, nitrites into free nitrogen. So that's what we're looking for. Live rock is big, you guys. You've got to have the rock. So if you've got a 100-gallon you know, a tank with 10 pounds of rock, obviously it's not, just not, not enough. There's not enough surface area for your bacteria to live and enough nitrifying bacteria to complete the cycle. And a lot of people are under, I guess they're under the impression that the, the cycle only happens once. You know how, okay, my tank cycle, what do I do now? It's actually perpetual. So the cycle's ongoing. So what you wanna do is, is keep, this, keep this cycle going in a perpetual manner as to not raise ammonia levels again by, by poor biological filtration or, or, or you know, poor water quality. Um, poor husbandry skills on the tank, not doing your water changes and uh, getting out some of those uh, excess ammonias, food waste. If, you, if you're overfeeding your tank, everybody knows overfeeding, ammonia goes back up again. You should never have ammonia again once it cycles out of the tank. Because by then the, the bacteria is in a, in a large enough concentration to keep up with it. You know, so you're gonna have, you got plenty, of, plenty in there to keep up with all the, all the levels and keep everything balanced down. You know, there is like a rule of thumb for pound per gallon of sand or substrate, whatever you're using, um, pound per gallon of rock. It, it's usually one pound per gallon is kind of the rule of thumb everyone goes by. But I mean, ultimately, 